Ah, yes. Very good. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Daisy 109. And yes, if you are seeing this right now, that means Daisy 109 for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox, and the PC is now out. I would recommend if you're on PC, updating your Steam to make sure that updates. And if you're on console, make sure that you uh, not only get the update, but make sure that when the update is complete, to hard reset your console. Uh, usually helps with uh, updates and connecting to the servers and also please note if you do get the update quicker than most people uh, you do have to wait for the actual official servers to come back online and or the community servers so lots of cool stuff going on here well I must note that typically we are on the console but today um, because 109 experimental is not available or wasn't available this time on console for the iteration um, I am on experimental right now, but this is the version that you guys will be getting. Also, please note that PlayStation 4 players, I know your version will be higher than this, but just know that the internal version, the ones that the developers reference, is still 109. And so that pertains to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So you guys just have like a, it's like 118, 119, 120, something like that. Anyways, point is, um, it's out and it's happening today. So uh, yeah, we've got some goodies. We've got the Deagle. Got some kick to it, yeah. Let's see, reload, reload. We had the revolver, which I was not able to get, but it is in the game. See, this one, I like the deagle a lot. I like it in real life, and I like it in the game. It's fantastic. Uh, but some notable changes on top of the already uh, change list I have out there, I had put out there about weeks ago. But check this out. This is uh, this is pretty interesting stuff. Oop, the zombies are coming. Don't do it. Okay, we can't hear them. Okay, so check this out. I'm um, just going through some of the bugs and fixes. Uh, fix the bug allowing infected to climb over closed party tent doors. Possible or fix possible sliding when jumping into a ceiling. Oh, oh, I didn't see that one before. That's good. Fixed an issue when picking up items through certain walls. Also good. Fixed an issue with the flagpole kit not being visible in the vicinity and cannot be picked up. That's huge uh, as far as the functionality of that particular item. We fixed a bug that caused clothing. Caused that clothing was dropped on the ground from small containers in the inventory when logging in. That was kind of in 108. It's cool that they got it. Anyways, okay. Fixed a bug making it possible to place tents in the water. Didn't come across that, but that's funny that they found it. Uh, fixed a bug, making it possible to place tents into steep terrain. That was bad because the articulation points for the hotbox. Hotbox? Hitbox? Hitbox. Would uh, not be... You, you couldn't click on it. Uh, fixed an issue with incorrect weights shown in the inventory UI tool. Tip, uh, further improvements to character collisions with ceiling. That's good. Uh, that was primarily, we'd see that a lot on official on uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox servers, and I, on PC, but we'd see it a lot on official, because that's where we play primarily. Uh, people would stick their head through the ceiling to use it to to see through the walls and stuff, which is really dirty. So it's cool they fixed it. Handgun scoped balancing, uh, lower dispersion modifier, reducing reduced ranging options. Okay, flagpole can no longer be built while in prone. Ha! Digging in a garden plot now damages the tool used. Oof. Ooh, I thought that was already a thing. Okay, so check this out. This is huge for us because we play on official. We play on the Xbox. The PlayStation 4 is the same thing. Locking and unlocking doors now damages the lockpick. Whoa, that's a big whoa. And just remember, there's other things that you can't repair now with duct tape. Like you can't repair weapons with duct tape. So that changes a lot of different things if you're playing on official, which that's a thing. Okay, so to go on to the next block here, uh, fix the bug preventing... Uh, to drag dead bodies out of vehicles, fixed a bug that prevented foliage smoothing settings to be applied on gaming restart, fixed an issue that caused bullets shot via the double fire mode, BK-43 in the blaze, ooh, to only be registered as one hit, that's cool, because you know I love hip-shotting people with the blaze, although to be fair, I very rarely go double, I usually go single, you know what I mean, little little hip-shot. Uh, fixed an issue that caused clothing items placed into utility butt pack to respawn on the ground when logging in. Fixed a bug that allowed usage of a ruined lockpick. Okay. 
fixed an issue that allowed the flagpole to be placed under low ceilings, fixed a bug that caused issues with accessing flagpole kit when dropped too close next to a wall. Okay, also like that that would be clipping issues. Fixed an issue preventing quantities of items spawn within cargo at random capacity. Uh, lowered the weight of the revolver. New characters spawn with a t-shirt and cropped hiking pants. New characters have a chance to spawn with damaged gear. Oh, hmm. Worn and damaged clothing has lower effect on heat, isolation, and absorbency. All right, so they're they're beefing up the the weather system, as it were. So that's cool. I don't know if I have another magazine for this or not. Should probably tap him with the M4. But okay, nice. I those last pieces there I missed on the last update. So, and this is the last piece. And again, this is all for everybody. This is for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And just because PlayStation number is different doesn't mean this isn't 109. It is. This is September's update, September 2020. Okay, fixed an issue blocking certain inter infected types from appearing within cities and industrial zones. That could affect the loot economy as well. Uh, another side note, the loot economy has also been revamped. If you check my original change log for this, for 109, when Experimental first came out, uh, there's no longer going to be counts happening for uh, things that are stored by players. Because a lot of people are like, hey, when people hoard items, they're having a hard time spawning things in. Or it could potentially affect the loot economy. So that is no longer a consideration. So it's more even keel. It's more normalized, as it were. So it's uh, it's all good stuff as far as loot economy is concerned. So... There it is. All right, let me switch back to this. Um, fixed an issue when executing emotes in limited spaces, causing the character to clip into objects. Ah, interesting. Fixed an issue causing vehicles with running engines to injure players close to it, even if the vehicle did not move. That one's been around for a hot minute. I'm glad they fixed that one. Fixed a bug causing items to be rotated wrongly after swapping them on the ground and changed this is the last piece here hang with me the watchtower kit can only be placed under a ceiling that fits at least the first floor of the watchtower that's we build a lot of different places so that affects us for sure we oh, that's a dirty burp oh there was okay items drop from hands during a player's death will share the lifetime of the dead body one hour by default items de-equipped with when skinning a dead player share the dead player's body's lifetime one hour by default. The radial menu for emotes now shows whether the emote can be executed in the current position. That's cool. Adjusted the effective ranges of the revolver and the deagle. It does take 357. Um, it's the same thing as the repeater. It hits hard. So it's it's good. They're both good. There's a lot of attachments, by the way, for the revolver as well. So a couple other things that people have asked me. Uh, quite often is, how's the desync? Well, since we were unable to really test this during the experimental, because the last time we had experimental on the Xbox, we were able to see how good or bad performance was. Desync, and that's items getting stuck in one place. That is so loud. That's items getting stuck inside of other containers. Um, we were unable to check it, so honestly, we'll have to see while we're live streaming this today. Um, obviously we're streaming this, or not streaming this, what am I saying? We're recording this earlier, geez, but I will be streaming this today, uh, during the release. There we go. See, I just had a little backwards, no big deal. I will be streaming this later on today on the Xbox. So really, we're going to be playing on official servers, so it's the same experience you would have for the PlayStation. So, uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox official servers. And we'll be getting in the mix with the boys, as we always do, and we always have an excellent time. I'm excited for this update. The building changes are going to be good. Um, even the lockpicking stuff is really going to change the game because, you know, a lot of buildings, a lot of bases happen in and out of uh, existing structures. So it's going to make for some really cool gameplay. And last time we had an update, uh, the fighting and stuff we had around bases on official was awesome. So I'm really looking forward to it. Again, uh, stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, consider. Uh, if you do have notifications on, you should get notifications for us going live. And for other videos that are open world survival, not only Daisy, but things like Rust, uh, the Rust beta that's coming for the consoles soon enough for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. So all really cool stuff. So um, uh, yeah, we'll also have some more uh, Daisy 109 type videos, I think, happening later on today or throughout the week. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you find it useful, helpful, be sure to drop a like. And love you, and I hope we see you in the live stream slash videos. Yes? Okay, sweet.
<laughs> That's so crazy loud. I'm gonna close the door. He 